Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of That's a Wrap. I'm Caboose XBL. I'm Into the Answer. And today we are going to be bringing you our top five favorite comic book movies of 2016. We both gathered the list and we can't wait to share with you our top five favorites of 2016. Yeah, this has been a great fun thing we've been doing on an annual basis, Caboose. It was a little bit of slim pickings in 2016, right. about seven or eight movies to choose from. 2017 is going to be a lot of an know, easier year. We know, yeah, yeah, a lot coming out in the next <laughs> couple of years. And, and I got to warn you, I'm about to get hateration in a few moments, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a second. As you can tell on the set this time around, we we actually have these awesome Lego sets that was sent to us courtesy of Warner Bros. Pictures. Thank you so much, Warner Bros., for sending these awesome sets from Lego Batman. The film comes out in February of 2017. Yeah, we do thank you a lot. It gave us something to do on Christmas. You know, yep. it did take about seven or eight hours, but it sure was a lot of fun. So, long thank, time. so thanks again for that. Thank you, guys. All so, right. without further ado, I'm going to start with my dishonorable mentions. Dishonorable mentions. Dishonorable. Not honorable. Dishonorable okay. mention. Okay. So I, I'll save the hater ratio one for last. All right. But one of them was X Men Apocalypse. Really? I gotta say, I mean, I was hyped up for it. They wow. had the almighty villain, and like I said in our review, you know, earlier this year, every time a top Apocalypse talked, I wanted him to shut up. Wow. I mean, you know? I I thought you kind of liked it when we first reviewed. It. I guess maybe on you know, I loved it. I loved it. But the Logan scene in there, but that movie, it just it, oh, it could wow. have been a heck of a lot better. Magneto being so amazing in these reboots, he was not used properly. All right. Fair enough. So and let's, let's get to the big one. Okay. Let's get all to right. the big one. And uh, here it we comes. We all got to brace ourselves. Batman vs. Superman. Wow. I, I got to tell you, man, I watched it a couple of times in this wow. movie. You know, I always think about when we saw that thing at Comic-Con and it flashed on the screen and how excited we were for two yeah, and a half years true. in the making of this movie. True. And it just did not hit for me. I watched it a couple of times. You know, it's just a lot of talking. It just, it wasn't there. <laughs> they didn't do it right. Fair enough. Fair. You're not alone on that. So yes. I, I know some people are typing your hate comments, but with all that said, get to your, what's your number five? So my number five of 2016 was Suicide Squad. So Great. I was All very, right. so the very, people have yes, their hate the comments. people have stopped a little bit. It is number five. <laughs> I mean, this movie was one villain away from an absolute home run. I agree. I'm talking a home I run. I agree with you. You know, filmed right here in our hometown Canada. That's right, Toronto, yeah, Canada. Toronto, yeah. But yeah, one villain away from being a home run, so that's my number five. Okay, fair enough. At my number five, I got Doctor Strange. This was the most recent of the comic book movies that came out in 2016. And I did really enjoy it. Marvel is an unstoppable force, and they keep producing great content. What was that, Aaron? Films. What yeah, was that? I'm sitting yeah. on the DC side. I'm wearing all this DC stuff. But no, I can't I yeah. can't sit here and be some biased fan. Marvel yeah. is doing great, and Doctor yeah. Strange was yeah. no exception. Well, that leads right into me. My number four was Doctor Strange. You Fair know, it, just, it was just kind of like another Ant-Man movie. They just keep pumping out hits, but it was even better than that. Yeah. Ant-Man you know, was, was a little run-of-the-mill. Doctor yes. Strange was yes. a lot more unique. And it introduced a lot more. We got Sid yeah. Stone, and he was funny. It was actually quite creative. I yeah. really did enjoy the movie. Definitely don't disagree with you here. Now, at number four, for me, is your dishonorable mention, Batman v Superman. Notice how it is your number four, though. Yes. Yeah, yes. I, I, can't, I can't say uh, anything about that. But listen, this is the thing I got to say. The Ultimate Edition is my number four. The three-hour version, which you haven't watched, and you totally should. Yeah, well, if Marvel came out with Ultimate Edition, yeah, they'd be great, yeah, too. Yeah. But anyway. But my point is, the three-hour version is the film that was intended to come out, the film that Zack Snyder wanted to make. And that's what makes Batman v Superman my number four because you can see the passion that Zack Snyder had for this film, and I really did enjoy the three-hour version. Fair enough. So what's your number three? So my number three was Deadpool. Deadpool. I mean, okay. you know, we 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 were very excited for Deadpool this mm -hmm. year. Rated R, number one rated R grossing movie of all time. We waited for that so is long. saying a lot. Yeah. The movie was an absolute home run. You know, a lot of people were really really pumped and excited when it came out. I loved it. I did like it. I I didn't love it as much as people did. Fair enough. Yeah. My number three. Okay. Fair enough. And my number three, I. I actually have one of the most recent films just came out two weeks ago Star Wars Rogue One or Rogue One a Star Wars story whatever yes. the title is yes. all I know is yeah the first two acts are kind of okay but that third act is filled with so much action and yes. one of the greatest scenes yes. ever in cinema history I, I, I'm telling you I can go on and, the record of saying oh yeah. that it was 45 seconds of absolute pure bliss it I was seen. they incredible. gave the fans what they want we're yeah. not going to do any spoilers no here spoilers. but everybody has probably already seen it and knows what it oh, is yeah. it was incredible it was incredible honestly was incredible. And, and that scene alone is what would make it my number three on this list because yeah. it was insane it was one of so, these days so when that movie comes to Netflix I'll be just 45 seconds oh, yeah. fast just, forwarding just that rewatching scene. it was that just scene. so cool <laughs> overall the movie was good too and that leads right into me that was my number two. Number two. That was my number two. I mean, ever since last year watching Force Awakens, I have become such a Star Wars fan because of what they've done here. They they've, really they've made a Star Wars fan out of us. Home here with these movies. This is a reboot, not like Force Awakens. Force Awakens, I was completely blown well, away by. Yeah. But this, you know, it was well done, it's, and I like. It's not what really doing a reboot more than it is like a prequel, a prequel that that's leads what I into say. episode enough, four. You know. Yeah, but I enough. get what you're saying, and Rogue yeah. One, it definitely was great. So my number two is Deadpool. I actually rewatched this film. It's on Canadian Netflix. 
shout out to Canadian Netflix. Yeah. Um, but I rewatched it and I really enjoyed it. Like yeah. it's so good. And one of the best things about Deadpool is it has a lot of heart. Yeah, it's about the comedy and he's funny and he swears yeah. and there's blood and it's rated R, but it has I a lot totally of heart. I totally agree with you, you know? there because we didn't expect that. And that's yeah. what hit home the most for me. Exactly. The love story really hit. That was, it wasn't a lovey-dovey story. Like, it was a it, lot it, of heart. It wasn't it was forced on to you, you know. Yeah. Like, the, the characters had a lot of, like, they just, they clicked. And they everything really worked really they well. Really, and, and, and the reason why Logan's rated R is because of that movie. Yeah, honestly. It, it, I mean, the, this Deadpool movie has led, this has been a catalyst, as, just like you said, for a lot of movies potentially to be rated R coming down the road. And let's hope we're going to get a Logan versus Deadpool. Oh, that yeah. would be amazing. So, just sure. give Hugh Jackman yeah. a bucket load yeah. of money oh, yeah. and tell him to come back as Wolverine for one more. Just one more. So, with all so that, with that said, being said, I think we can do our number one together. Yes. Everybody out there has got to know what it is. I mean, everyone's I'm wearing the hat. Yep. Absolutely blown away by Civil War. Captain I mean, America Civil I, War. I, I, Both tell, of our number I'm, ones. I'm telling yeah. you right now, we can rave on and on. I'll just say as quick as I can about this movie. With all that star power, all that cast, the airport scene, the flow of the movie, the introduction to what's potentially going to happen in previous movies, tying in other things. Yeah. And a very key point I want to make, Aaron, is what they did with Spider-Man. I wasn't too happy, but I thought about I it mean, afterwards. Now what happens in Homecoming is all that mumbo-jumbo about his powers don't got to waste any story time. Is origin story is We know it. Everybody yeah. knows how yeah. Spider-Man gets his powers. Yeah. It's cool. But I, I was thinking about that after the fact that it just set it up so properly. Just an incredible, incredible movie. The Russo Brothers are I, I can't agree with you enough. I mean, we were fortunate enough to see the movie about like three weeks early. So the marketing wasn't in as heavy of a push as it was yes. towards the release. And of it film. didn't even have to be. It didn't have yeah. to be. But I think the best thing about that was we didn't see any TV spots. We didn't yes. see any extra trailers where it was showing, up us, uh, showing us a bunch of these extra shots. Yes. We went in as blind as we could have with 100%. Civil War. And it made the experience it that really, much more As better. we mentioned, it was a Captain America movie. Movie. Yeah, they, no, they, definitely. They put this, and why why I'm so even happy about this movie being my number one is because any reservations, any worries, anything about the two biggest movies to ever come out in superhero history, yeah, it's the Russo brothers are running it. That's <laughs> Infinity War yeah. Part 1 and 2. So I agree. I mean, we've got no worries in these guys making a star-studded film coming in the future. I can't disagree with you more. Captain America Civil War was such a blast. Seeing Spider-Man and Black Panther being introduced to the Marvel world in such a powerful way yes. was great to see, and I'm so excited to see what those characters are going to do Same in here. their upcoming solo film. So that is it. That is our top five favorite comic book movies of 2016. But what's most important is what you guys think. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your five favorite comic book movies of 2016? We want to hear your thoughts. I really do want to see it because I actually want to tally up. I don't want to see how many people potentially put Captain America as number one. Where We're going to see a lot of Star Wars I, I really want to see the stats. Yeah. Star Wars, yeah, I guess Rogue One would probably be number one yeah. as well. But I mean, yeah, you know, I, I'd still love to see it. Well, we're just excited to see what you guys think. With all that said, I'm Caboose XBL. I'm Ender the Answer. Be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion, and subscribe if you're new. That's a wrap.